Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm just drawing a uh, face <laughs> on this canvas. I'm doing a full canvas. If you're interested in this canvas, it's already up for sale on my Etsy. My link will be down below. Now I'm using these stencils from Folk Art and I love them. So I decided to take the, they're like uh, adhesive stickers. They stick. And I like these kind of stars, so I did them all around in a maroon color. It's called uh, True Burgundy, actually, from Folk Art, and it's just a acrylic paint. And so I just took my uh, brush and I stenciled on these stars. You'll see they kind of smudged a little bit. They kind of, you know, I wasn't a, I wasn't very uh, safe or slow when I did them. I just kind of did them <laughs> as I like to do. And, you know, you could be very careful and do all the things, but I just wanted to get it uh, on there and done so I could draw because that's what I wanted to do. And I'm just putting them on. You can see they make nice, uh, you know, stencils and there's quite a few in this one. I ended up using two. I used Never Stop Looking Up, which you'll see at the end I put on, and these stars. And they have, you know, regular stars, big, small. They have uh, other words like uh, reach for the stars, star power, starry eyes, and a lot of cute things. Um, after the fact, I was like, oh, maybe I should have done this, should have done that. But I'll just do it in another one. I really love how she came out. I started uh, doing angels years ago. Uh, I did so many angels, uh, you know, in my style and folk art style. And um, would actually do, believe it or not, I would do um, kind of like folk art pictures of people's animals, uh, quite a few of them. So um, I really enjoyed doing that uh, before my son died. And then after my son had passed on, it just, I lost interest in art really for a while. And then I started uh, getting my interest back and here I am. Uh, you can see how pretty that looks. That right there, to me, I was like looking at it and I was like, hmm, that would be just a cool post, like a cool uh, canvas to hang up like that. So before, <laughs> before I start drawing, I'm sketching in wings and the neck. Um, please understand, you'll see me erase quite a bit and that kind of thing. And it's one of the reasons this ended up being a little bit longer than I wanted. That's why I followed it through because... Um, I, I took my RA needle, uh, yesterday and it's my needle I take every two weeks and it makes me very ill. So, um, I, I was forgetting words. You'll see I'm even out of it right now, but I was forgetting words and the video became long and, and I was just like, they're going to be bored out of their minds. Listen then to me ramble and forget words and everything else. So I figured, you know, for those who are interested you can sit and watch, I'll, you know, do an intro in the beginning and the whole thing and um, put a little nice music to the, to the rest of it if you're interested. And it's, like I said, it's about 30 minutes and I forwarded, I think it ended up being two and a half hours. And I thought, mm, you know, I'd like to do a, a live stream from start to finish one time of these, um, my paintings or a painting like this, if anybody would be interested. But for a video, I know it's way too much. So you can see, I'm just sketching with my pencil and uh, just sketched out the hair and the face. I have quite a, <laughs> I have quite an issue as you're gonna see putting the eyes on. And I don't understand why it just was not, I wasn't grasping it. Um, I finally got it, but it, it took me, I mean, you probably could be watching this and be like, girl, come on. but. My brain is just mush lately and I can't um, uh, function, <laughs> you know? It's like you can't even remember the word catch up when you're looking at it. Do you know what I'm saying? Does anybody not understand? Maybe it's just me. And when I take my medication, um, she ended up looking a little evil for a few minutes and uh, I didn't like that. So, But um, when I take my medication, that just gets, it's, I'm out of it. Makes me tired of the whole thing. So, you know, you guys are getting a voice over. I know some of you uh, don't like it, but I'm sorry. Like I said, it's just, it, it was too much of me rambling and talking and I don't know. I, God only knows what I was talking about. 
I think I was talking about um, toothpaste box and, and uh, um, the background with the, I, I don't, God only knows, God only knows. But you'll see, she does come together and I really, really like her. Um, I had done the uh, willowing, she did like a free uh, test, like taster, I guess she called it, of a class that she's coming up doing. And I've never taken any of her classes before. So it was free and I saw a f quite a few people in my group um, were, take were doing it. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it and see what I can, you know, see if I can do it. Um, you know, it's it was completely not my style. Um, in the sense that she used a, like watercolor color was her base um doing the face and the and the way she did it but i fell in love with the way that she did it um i added you know my own thing to it um but it was definitely her concept and that kind of thing and i really really enjoyed it uh i was surprised i enjoyed it so much i was a little obsessive over it like i had to finally be like okay put it down it's done i added glitter at the end and some fun so i don't know it was a lot of fun it took me a few quite a few days and um i really enjoyed it okay so i am just taking my normal uh light flesh from folk art of course you can mix your own uh flesh color with uh magenta ultramarine blue and uh, yellow and you know a little white you can add that in there if you want um, and make your own color or I just sometimes just use the regular flesh that's my go-to for the last 20 years I swear and I have this is a color called asphaltum asphaltum and it is from folk art as well and it is a transparent as you can see uh, brown and it's just delightful. Um, it's a great shader too. I almost wanted to shade with the face with it, but I ended up not. Um, I'm going to try that in a different, different video because I really, really love it. I wish I would have used my blending gel more on the face, which you'll see, but I will do that next time. Um, I totally forgot. I wanted to, I had it sitting here and then I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> so I got on I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so you can see the asphaltum and I just outlined the hair. She's going to have like a nice little bob going on. I love it. And I think because I keep my hair is getting wicked long and I keep thinking like just cut it in a bob. But I also bought extensions to put in like some tape ins because my hair with the medicine and the hair loss and then blah, 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 blah. So who the heck knows what I'm going to do. I'm taking the asphalt and, and you're going to see I'm going to mess up quite a few times. I'm okay with showing you guys because um, I think everybody needs to know that, it, you know what, you're going to mess up and then you just fix it. Uh, I go in with the acrylic paint when I mess up and I wet my brush with clear water and I just uh, swish it around, take it off. <laughs> I colored them in the eyes to see and then I'm like, nope, nope, wiping that off and you'll see it comes off. There we go. So we're going to start again. <laughs> I think I start 20 times. So I dried again, of course, because there was a little bit of water from wiping it. And I'm going in again with my my uh, pencil. Now, one of my favorite pencils that I draw with, um, I love the, uh, this is called Sumo Grip. And it's a Sakura. It, this is a 0.9 lead. That right now I'm using is charcoal. Um, but, uh, cause I love charcoal. I have charcoal everywhere. I use charcoal all the time. Um, as you guys know, I love drawing in charcoal. So, and I'm going to be doing more of that too. I need to sit and, and draw and that'll be another probably voiceover because, um, I just like that. It's very meditative to me and like, so I'm, you know, I'll do it and do the thing or maybe I'll do a small project. I don't know. We'll see. Again, she screws up again. Now what's she going to do? That's my sumo grip. And I love it because, you know, I have RA and fibro. So my hands some days are like, girl, we ain't touching nothing. And so it's a lot, um, it's bigger, you know, to hold. And I'm going back in. And I messed up again. I mean, what is that for? 
and I can't help it. Like I said, I, I was going to edit it out and I probably would have shortened the video, but sometimes I, I really enjoy when people write me and they say, I, cause we tend to forget, you know, like I watching you mess up was like the greatest thing I learned today because when I mess up, you know, I get, I beat myself up. I end up not doing, you know, people write me like these beautiful letters. And so I like to show you guys, you know, me messing up and believe me, I do. And today was a real mess up day. But what are you going to do? Right. Now, like I said, I'm going to, I'll probably talk through this a little bit longer and then I'll put music to it. But, um, now you can see I'm doing the uh, the eyes. I'm almost sure I have them where I want them because obviously the hair is going to cover the eyes a little bit. And that was the problem I was having. What I should have done, and I don't know why I didn't, please, I, I okay, uh, I should have drawn the eyes on before I did the hair. But I did the hair first, which made it cut out the face kind of, and then I had the gauge and mm, it worked out fine at the end, but it took a minute. So I'm just going in again. I think that's five, <laughs> four or six. I don't know. It's a lot. But I love the way she came out. Now I'm just going in with my uh, paintbrush and I'm just kind of going over the uh, pencil and charcoal that I had on there a little bit, just a little bit of water. Um, and a little bit of face paint of the uh, light flesh. I'm just going over the wings. Now I'm going to take my gesso. This is white gesso. Any gesso will work. I wanted to use, I had my one gesso here. I have it over there. I want to finish this gesso up before I really get into using my other gesso that was gifted to me. Mickey, Mickey. Um, but... So yeah, so now I'm just painting in the wings. And I do a couple coats on these. I wanted them, I was going to put um, glitter and everything on them, but decided, you know, at the end, just to kind of outline them with a little marker to make them, I don't know, just for something different. You know, I was, uh, I had a million things I was going to do with them. So you can see here, I'm just painting them in. I'm so sorry for my dog barking. Oh my gosh, I apologize if you can hear my dogs. And now I'm just taking some of that white paint or white gesso and I'm going in a little bit on the lips and, you know, the whites of the eyes a little bit before I color them in and then just touching up the wings. Again, I will add white acrylic paint and I will, uh, tr you know, trace it and that kind of thing. But right now I just wanted to lay down the gesso so I know where you know, where the wings are and what's going on. I'm just drawing it so I can move on to the face. Like I said, I really do love how she came out. Now I'm going in, of course, you know, I'm painting them green, them eyes, because my daughter has hazel eyes. So I went in a little green, little gold, little uh, brown. And then just a little light pink on the lips to cut, keep her kind of muted. I, you know, you could tell with the colors I kept it. I only did one pop of color and I used ultramarine blue uh, as her like dress, which you'll see. And, you know, I think that's the only really pop between the eyes and the lips. Everything are kind of, you know, meld in together a little bit. Now I'm going in with black. Um, no, it's not black. It is gray. My gray Prisma color. Let me see the color. I love my Prisma colors. Um, it is a 90% cool gray. And I have it sharpened very good. And I'm just going over and I'm, you know, tracing the hair. And just marking in the lines. All right, guys, so I'm going to add my music here, 
And again, she's for sale. I will link it down below on my Etsy if you're interested. She's a nine by 12 canvas, I believe. And um, yeah, otherwise, I uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys very much and stay safe. Bye-bye.